y'all doing out there? This is Pete. We're over at Southwest Rod and Custom, home of DIY Auto School. And we are at DIY Auto School. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing of some parts. Now what you're looking at is a 1967 Camaro. Now the owner of this car lives in the UK. And uh, this car will be shipped to the UK. He's basically Y2K-ing the car. When I say y 2 k if you look at the car that we're working on already, you can see it's got power brakes. It's going to have disc brakes. It's going to have a ZZ6 Chevrolet engine with a Trimex six-speed transmission. And it's going to be high performance. And it's going to scream and demon. Screaming. Demon type car. Now we've already done all the body work to it. We've repaired all the rust that was in it. Um, this is a paint ready car. We have not done anything else to it because we have been waiting around. We've been waiting around for over a year for parts to be delivered. Um, just the clutch system itself and the bell housing, we've been waiting seven and a half months. We finally gave up on Summit Racing and Jake's Automotive and we went to another company that the owner found called American Powertrain and the boxes that you see right there in the front, those are American Powertrain. So we went to American Powertrain and we got all the parts we needed for that plus a little bit more. Very expensive to do a Y2K hot rod. I'm going to let everybody know that right now. Um, we also have parts from a company that I used several years back, actually many years back, and I had a lot of problems with that company, and I kind of banned that company from using them at Southwest Rod and Custom, but I did my research, and I did what I had to do to find the parts necessary for the vehicle because we, once again, are y 2 k the car. Now, the original plan was we were going to keep all the front suspension all factory original. This is actually all rebuilt. Well, after contemplating and thinking and, and deleting and researching and, and, and researching more, we decided, you know what, why don't we go ahead and y 2 k this suspension front and rear and we're going to make it all brand new and everything will be awesome and it'll work great. So that's what we're going to do. And we are going to go ahead and start opening our boxes for the suspension. When I ordered the parts, I asked him, are we going to have to wait around? He said, no, we got everything in stock except two items. A month later, we get an email or the owner got an email stating, uh, we're waiting on these parts and these parts aren't built yet and blah, blah, blah. And then the guy told me that, Everything we have except a few items we make ourselves right behind my desk. So I don't know what the deal is. I mean, we finally got all the parts after four months. It's time to get on this car. It's time to get the drivetrain in it, get all the suspension in it, and get her done. So we're going to go ahead and open all this. We're going to look it over. And then I'm going to make videos on the products that I am installing. I like to do product videos. This company isn't paying me. If it turns out to be a piece of shit, I will say it's a piece of shit. The company won't be paying me. I'm going to make that clear again. This reviews that I'm going to do and this installation that I'm doing is me passing my knowledge on to you. Let's go ahead and get started. We already got a table full of parts over here. Let's go ahead and open them up and see what we got. And uh, we'll explain as we go. Welcome to DIY. Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more.
Okay, great. Just got the front end on. What I need to do now is I need to relocate the fuel filter. Now, I want to show everybody this action here. This is made by Jack Spania. Beautiful filter. Look at that. All right, the housing on this thing is immaculate. Look at that. We got a replaceable filter. You can buy that straight directly from Jack Spania Racing. The owner suggested that he didn't want the hard line. Look what we got here. We got a hard line. He wants AN fitting line. So let me show you something else. Look at all the fittings that come with this filter. All right, look at that. All right, this is going to match up with anything, any size, kind, and shape form of what your fuel system might have. It's got O rings already installed. And you can see the recess right there in the filter itself where the O ring sits. So, if you're looking for a filter that's going to keep your fuel system clean, sparkling clean, cleaner than sparkle clean, check out jackspaniaracing.com because they got the filter for you. This is what I use on every car I build right here. This is the system I use to keep my fuel clean on every car that leaves my shop. Make sure to check the description for all the promo codes that Jack's going to give you if you order one from this ad right here of my friend Pete, your friend Pete, everybody's friend Pete telling you the truth that this is the best filter on the market. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and unbox all of the suspension components. And it's from a company called Classic Performance Products. They're in California. And once again, I did deal with them before, and I wasn't happy with them, but the reason you're probably saying, well, why are you dealing with them now, is because that was way back, that was like 15 years ago, and I'm sure that products have gotten better, and they are basically one of the only companies that specialize in Camaro suspension. Uh, this is our rear sway bar uh, for the F-Body 60, okay, F-Body 67, 69, and I will say it again, when I ordered these parts, it took four months to get them, I was not happy, the owner had to pay up front, and that's what really makes you mad about this shit, is when you have to pay up front, and it takes this long to get parts, I mean, it's ridiculous, and it's, it's just absurd. Okay, so the first thing we're going to open is our rear sway bar kit. And I'm just marking this so I know where it's going. So, of course, naturally, we do have our sway bar. And I want to show everybody something. The guy lied to us right off the bat. You can see right there, it clearly states made in China. So I'm sure this is one of the things that we were waiting on for four months. So this is our sway bar. Let's see what kind of... Uh, coating and it does have a powder coating finish on it you can see that right there very nice so the finish is nice um, we got all the hardware here for our sway bar inside one box and it looks like it's an adjustable sway bar it's got some heim joints that are included you can see that right there so this is an adjustable sway bar system that we're working with it also has all the mounting brackets and I'll give you a little peek, and it looks like those are powder coated as well to a flat finish. Um, very nice and organized. And then, uh, once again, we got more hardware. Let me go ahead and pull this apart. And we won't open the box, but we can clearly see made in China. It's not made behind the guy's desk. So it's got a lot of hardware. Um, it's got a lot of stuff. And the sway bar looks complete. Right there. That's it. Alright, the next product that we're going to open, this is going to be our front sway bar. Um, it's a sway bar kit for a, it's a 1 and 8 inch sway bar. And it's for a 67 to 69 Camaro. Let's go ahead and open that up. And I'm sure this, uh, these parts probably work. They're also for a Pontiac Firebird as well. So we're going to go ahead and open this box up and see what kind of action we got with a sway bar, the front sway bar. And that, my friend, is 
a very heavy and beefy sway bar. I will say that. And it's a very nice uh, powder coated uh, finish on that. We're going to go ahead and check out the hardware and see what we got. I got that wrapped up here. Very simple, very easy. You can see right here it comes with your directions and also all the hardware that it takes to mount your sway bar onto the vehicle. And you know what the real deal is about the situation when you're buying parts these days? A lot of companies do not supply directions. And the directions that I like are pictorial directions. And you can see that their directions are very thorough. Um, one and an eighth inch front sway bar kit. It explains everything that's in the kit and it also gives you a simplified detail instruction on how to install it. So that is one thing that I do like is that they do cover everything that it takes for the, the, the novelist to learn how to do it and do it properly. Um, the hardware looks, uh, it doesn't look cheap or inexpensive. I see that it's anodized gold made in China of course, but still it looks like a high quality situation. Now that we got those two big bulky boxes out of the way, let's go ahead and open some of these average size boxes. And then we'll get to the leaf spring set last. I won't be able to put that up here on the box. Once again, these are parts that we are unboxing for a 1967 Camaro. And a, the parts are from Classic Performance Products. So we're going to open this one and we're going to see what's in here. Now I'm not going to open every single little box. I'm just kind of unboxing and, you know, giving you an angle of what we got for the car. So the first thing that we open up here, and I'll keep this for the owner, is we got a CPP hat. I'm sure the owner will love that. We'll uh, save that for him. And then the next thing we got, it looks like we got all of our shocks. And these are performance shots. We're going to open one of those up in a minute here. Um, we also got, they also supply the tool for the shocks, uh, spanner wrench. And then we're going to come over here. Now, I don't see anything on here that says made in China yet. And these are our springs. And then, of course, we got some advertisement stuff here. So these are our coilover springs, and I'm, I'm thinking these are for our front shocks. Uh, it looks like the owner decided to go with uh, coilover adjustable front suspension springs, which is fine. And it's a nice powder coat. It's not bright silver. It's not dark charcoal. It's just a nice uh, color. Where are these made? We don't know. These might be made in their factory. They might be. Um, just to give you a better glance at the spanner wrench that they supply, you can see right there. And then, of course, these are our Hurst bearings that go to our, of course, our coilover shocks. So we'll go ahead and put this back in the box. And then we're going to go ahead and look at uh, one of these Viking performance shocks that they sell. And this is one of our coilover shocks. Let's go ahead and open that. I don't want to make a mess. And I don't want to lose any parts. And it looks like it's a nice high performance shock. It's got, uh, it's got the uh, uh, adjustments that we need on it right here for bounce and um, uh, rebound. So it's got the rebound adjustments on it. And then it's got uh, some nice hardware. And the hardware, it looks like it's billet aluminum. It also comes with a shim. We'll find out what that's for later. We got some beautiful stickers. Uh, does it come with instructions? That's what I'm looking for. Yes, it does. So it does come with instructions. There's not a lot of pictures on the instructions, but the instructions are there for the guys that don't know how to do this. And then it has the first thing that you see when you open it is a yellow, bright yellow warning. Uh, Anti-seize must be applied to the shock threads before adjustment. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can find a rear shock and see what the rear shocks look like. Because he went, he decided, the owner decided to get matching shocks. 
front and rear. Okay, so here's our rear shock right here. And it's a nice shock. I like that. Look at that, people. It's got the adjustments on the rear shock, just like the front shock for fine-tuning your adjustments. And it's a nice shock, and I think they're going to work really well. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, I believe this is part of our front suspension, and it says upper on the box. So I'm suggesting that it's probably more than likely more than likely it's going to be the upper control system for our Camaro. Let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got. So you can see the box is really packed really nice and detailed. That uh, helps us out that they packed it really nice. And the first thing that we see when we open it is a piece of paper and let's see what it says here. So it gives us a description of what we're looking at here. This is for a 67, 69 Camaro and 68 through 74 Nova. And these are the upper uh, tubular upper control arm installation instructions. Okay, I'm going to take one of them out. I'm not going to take them both out. Um, I don't even see any hardware with these. So I'm speculating that uh, maybe we're supposed to use the factory hardware on them. Um, as far as installing them. But then again, I'm looking at them wrong. Let me open it up and I'll explain. So here's one of our control arms. Now they claim that these are actually made in America. I don't see anything on here that says made in China. Um, and it does have the CCPP uh, sticker on it as well. Um, it's got the ball joints installed. And here's all our hardware right here that I was talking about. And it looks like it is a complete system that's ready to bolt in once you remove your old. So these are really nice. I like them. And they look like high quality stuff. So we actually have three more boxes to unbox from our classic performance product dealer that we waited four months to get. And one of them is an exact replica of this. This is just happens to be left. And then the other box is right. And then we're going to go down on the ground and we're going to look at the leaf spring kit that we bought. Um, so let's open this. Now this is the brake system for the front. And the guy that we bought, or should we say talked to, basically talked us into getting this setup versus another setup. And these are the Corvette brake systems. This is a late model Corvette style brake system that converts over to the Camaro. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it's all about. And once again, watch out for staples. Very dangerous and hurt like hell. All right. So this, once again, this is a Corvette style brake system. Um, it comes with a book right here, Disc Brake and Power Steering uh, Components from our company that we are now looking at. And then we're going to go ahead and get this out and we're going to look it over and check it out. So if we look right here, I want everybody to pay attention how big this rotor is and this caliper. It's humongous, people. And it's also, as you can see, it's a complete system. When I say complete system, I'm talking about it's got the brakes, it's got the rotors, the calipers, and then if we come along the back here, it also has the spindle. Now, I don't know if we got the drop spindles or not. Um, I'll have to go over that once we start installing all this stuff. And it also comes with a complete set of braided brake lines in one of the boxes. So this is the Corvette style brakes. Um, you can see that they're slotted and they are also dual. Look at that. So they got the air passage through it. And then once again, look at the, I want everybody to look at that. Look how big that caliper is. Ay, ay, ay. I got my finger stuck in there. 
All right, look at the caliper, the brake caliper. This thing is humongous, people. This is my hand, and it's actually from this end to this end, it's bigger than my hand. I believe the guy that talked to us on the phone told us the truth on this. I like this setup. I think it's nice. It was extra money. Uh, it was a lot of money, believe it or not. But I think the owner is going to really love the brake system that he purchased right here from CPP. And then the final and last box that we have from CPP for our 1967 Camaro is this box right here that was shipped to us basically just like you see it. Um, tattered and falling apart. And what we have here, we have a brand new uh, leaf spring system for our Camaro. Now I notice uh, these are multi-leaf springs is what we're looking at. Uh, these are not uh, monoleaf uh, like the original Camaro and you can clearly see that and it comes with all the hardware 67 to 87 Camaro I'm sorry 67 to 81 Camaro and 68 to 74 Nova so if you look right there you can see these are not mono leafs these are actually multi leafs there's two leafs in each one um, now the guy said to put these on the car versus the mono leafs that these are better leaf springs so we went ahead and agreed with them, and this is what we're going to be installing on our 67 Camaro. So I'm really excited to try these out and see what they're going to do for us um, using the multi-leaf spring versus the mono-leaf. And we actually had one box that we forgot. I went ahead and unboxed them. Uh, what these are, these are our lower CPP control arms. Let's take a look at these. Now they claim that they make these behind the guy's desk. These are actually made in America. Um, let me tell you what I like about these. I can tell you right now, not that they're powder coated, but I can tell you I like them because of the weight. They are very light, lightweight. Um, they're made, I can see that they're made very nicely. I believe that the construction of these is top notch. And it looks like they're going to be a nice component to add to complete our front suspension. So it doesn't look like it by the looks of the boxes behind it. Of course there's our sway bars over here. And here's our leaf springs right here. But by the looks of the boxes and the parts on the tables, it doesn't seem like it adds up, but it does. What we got is our upper and lower control arms, all our shocks, our coilover shock springs, and we got our complete brake system. You're looking right there at a complete CPP Y2K compatible front suspension package. Of course, less two shocks that go to the brand new CPP rear suspension system that we will be installing and you will be seeing it. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of parts and be watching for the upcoming videos of all of the detailed instructional videos that I can give you to install these into your car at home in your garage by yourself with no lifts, uh, basic hand tools, um, oh I'm sorry, jack stands and whatever knowledge we can have to get on the ground, crawl around, get filthy dirty, and do the job like we're supposed to do. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, getting ready to take this old six-cylinder Camaro and turn it into a UK beast. What is UK? UK is the United Kingdom. That's where this car is going. Take it easy. We'll see you later. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. And if you can't remember it, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Do it right, do it right, do it right, do it right. Because if you're not going to do it right, you're not doing it at all, bitch. So if you're looking for a filter that's going to keep your fuel system clean, sparkling clean, cleaner than sparkle clean, check out jackspaniaracing.com because they got the filter for you. This is what I use on every car I build right here. 
This is the system I use to keep my fuel clean on every car that leaves my shop. Make sure to check the description for all the promo codes that Jack's going to give you if you order one from this ad right here of my friend Pete, your friend Pete, everybody's friend Pete telling you the truth that this is the best filter on the market. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.